In the history of Van Den Bolt, passion meets legacy. Since a little kid, Dirk has always spent countless hours in the pigeon loft. As a young lad, he assisted his father in caring for the birds. With time, Dirk's dedication led him to win a championship title in the Pigeon Club pool, marking the beginning of a remarkable journey. Driven by ambition, Dirk sought to reinforce the old strains, investing in the best fanciers for quality injections. Influences such as Nyeuvarasi and Van Lukhin shaped his top family, emphasizing quality over quantity. For Dirk, the thrill of seeing a very early pigeon every week is incomparable. His focus remains on winning first prizes and ace bird titles. Van Den Bulk's legacy is one built on passion, dedication, and the relentless pursuit of excellence in pigeon racing. In the world of pigeon racing, planting the tree is one thing, but reaping the fruits is another. It all began in 2012 with the birth of B12-6254038, fondly known as Olympic Rosita. She emerged as one of Belgium's top youngsters, clinching victory after victory in fierce competitions. Her impressive wins secured prestigious titles like the first Olympiad Aceberg Nitroff 2013 and first Nat. Aceberg Superduif Speed 2012, among others. Bred from exceptional stock, Olympic Rosita became the cornerstone of Dirk's breeding program, forming a golden pair with Good Road. Their offspring, like B13-6139803 Kittle, inherited their exceptional racing prowess. Kittle quickly rose to fame, dominating the young speed racing circuit in Belgium. With an impressive track record, Kittle became the first Nat. Ace KBDB Speed Youngsters 2013, leaving a lasting legacy in Belgian pigeon racing history. But Kittle's impact wasn't confined to Belgium. His descendants became champions around the world, dominating national races, won loft races, and breeding future generations of winners. For Dirk, Olympic Rosita and Kittle were just the beginning of a legacy that continues to inspire pigeon fanciers worldwide. In the world of pigeon racing, Greatness knows no bounds. Fifth against average 2,000 pigeons. He was classified to go to the Olympiads as reserve pigeon number three uh, to Brussels. One prize card meaning less to win probably first KBDB Ace Pigeon 2016. He started molting very soon, so he could not be raised to, to win the last top classification to get a sixth prize card to go to the national classifications. Super pigeon, very nice handling, super soft feathers. Many brothers and sisters already did very well in his loft also. The first, the first two children, they just told me, the first two children bred from this cock, both won first prize in his loft and in the co-breeding loft with another guy. So he's very promising breeding too. Grandson Kittel, grandson brother Gudrona, and grandson of the 992. Exactly like Kittel, always trying to get out. Top pigeon. Mm -hmm. Very nice eye. Dirk will show us also the father and the mother, both in his breeding loft. This is actually the main pair in this loft right now. This is a full sister to Kittel. She is now mated to the Kittel 006 top pairing. Mealy one. Unbelievable quality. Very nice feathers. Something unique. Full sister Kittel, original Vandenbroek. I think there is only a few in the world. Five, six, seven. So. Two very unique birds paired to each other for 2018 breeding. These two pigeons, it's mother and father to the 006. This is actually the new main pair of Dirk Vandenbroek. This is a direct son Kittel when paired to Sagana 2. Sagana 2 is bred down from the Sagan CO41. She is in my breeding loft, Flanders collection. From the, the grandmother of Sagan is bred down from the Hudoroda. When paired to 998, 
This is super breeding and she breeds first national pigeon, second, second one, second two. And so one of the second sisters is this mother when paired back to Kittle. So the son Kittle is father to the Kittle 006. This is the mother. She is very, very, very rare. She is bred from the 992, brother Guru Oro, with when paired to the 999. 999 is full sister and nest sister to the 40,000. So actually she is mainly same way bred than all the basic pigeons 992 brother good order with, with 40,000 she was specially that bred that way because the 40,000 stopped laying eggs at that moment and uh, in this way she was the 992 was spread to the 999 and splendid collection of pigeons here the son of Kittle with a doctor of the 992 is a new main breeding pair of Dick Vanderbilt breeding 006, 006 breeding in the first year of breeding, both the youngsters win first prize, so I think a new generation of pigeons is built here. This is the second main pigeon in the loft of Dirk Vandenbull, something very very special, again grandson of the 992, this is his father, a direct son of the 992, he's very similar to the 992, you can see. This pigeon is very exceptional. Second provincial ace pigeon, seventh national ace pigeon KBDB. He is the only cock who ever won three first prizes in the same year on Kevrin in the famous Teamverbond Antwerp. As a young bird. As a young bird. He is now retired to the breeding loft. Very promising breeder, very soft feathers, very strong pigeon, and again bred down from the main pigeon, Brother Roder 992. Same way than the 006 Kittle, Auro bred, bred down from a direct doctor of the 992. Perfect cross, perfect pigeons, very promising. Top races, putting back on the breeding loft is actually the main thing here to get a new breeding loft going. Miracle. Something very, very special about this pigeon. This year he became second provincial ace pigeon, seventh national ace pigeon. And actually half of the season he was injured. He won top two, three top prize cards in the beginning of the season. Came back very, very, very badly injured. Nearly nearly broken for, for the all of his life. Dirk took very good care of him. It took him several weeks just to get healed again. And in the end of the season he started to, 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 to race him again very slowly. He wins one top prize card after the other. So actually in half of a season and he's still second provincial ace pigeon. Very, very, very special. He wins also a first prize completely against the wind and against a group of pigeons in the end of the year. I think with one or two minutes lead in front of seven, eight hundred other pigeons in this top, top, top. This is the loft where the famous Kittle was raised before. Trapped on that plan there every week, week after week, top classification. Very simple loft with top pigeons. Another pigeon I want to introduce, it's a full brother to the 006. In 2016, only one was tried on the, on the racing loft. It was the 006, only one cock. This is the only one which was trained and tried to race in 2017. Very, very promising pigeon. He only missed one prize to get classified in the provincial and the national champions. But he won five top prize cards for Dirk van den Boek in 2017. Also going to the breeding loft. So another main pigeon bred down from the son of Kittel when with the doctor of the 992 to go on the breeding loft with top results, getting the, the new breeding loft to another level. Direct son of the main pair. This is a direct son of actually the second most famous pairing from Rosita, it's with the 992, with the brother of the Guderode. He is grandfather to first prize against 10,000 pigeons in Germany. Very, 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 very compact pigeon. Strong. So bred down from 992, brother Guderode, with Olympic Rosita. This is the only one he has on the loft like this. We have seven the same way bred on our breeding loft to Flanders collection. First against 10,000.
These are my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> Blue bike Blue bike yeah. yeah. This really nice pigeon. Really? I select on that. Yeah. Um, blue white plate. Blue white Yeah. Very beautiful. Yeah. 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 Ja, maar pas op, ik heb de, de, deze jaar, dat was nog maar tweede jaar, hè. in 15 heb ik een sabbatjaar gepakt. En dan in 16 en 17, in, in 15 heb ik maar een keer of vier, vijf meegedaan en, en dan was ik weggesmeten. Dus ik heb er nou nog niet meegedaan, ik heb nog maar twee jaar meegedaan. En ja. hem, uh, ik had geen vreugde deze jaar, want jou wel hier een dag hinder weer. Die had daar in Morocco, we zitten op de kampioenendag, dat is daar een bocht. Nee. Ik kom daar weer te maken. Die kampioenen daar weer door. Die, die komt voor mij door bieden. Dan mag ik te zien er wie. Dat is omdat we met de koep zijn, maar al die andere al die dagen maar je Door Dat is ook plek. Dat is die enige kant dat ze nog hebben. Lek een hond op een half pond rusten. Dan mag ik een koppelare geven. Uh, en en, en, en ja, nu maar een koppelare van de Wedenaar. En je ziet dan die licht en dus altijd de dorsten. Ja, dat is een absoluut. Ja. Water observerend. Ik denk dat je eigenlijk zo'n hoeveel witte pennen aan die een blizzard. Ja. Hm? Dat is hem. Ik denk dat wel. Dat is super. 